Well, a major victory for Democrats last night as Tom Suozzi beat Mozzie Pillup in the special election on Long Island. All right, this means the already slim Republican majority in the House is now going to get even tighter. Fox 5's Morgan McKay joins us now with a closer look at what Suozzi's victory means for the overall balance of power in Washington. Morgan. Stephen Natasha, Tom Suozzi's win last night shrunk the Republicans' majority, which means there are only six more Republicans and Democrats in the House of Representatives. Now, both sides are examining what this means for November's presidential election in key swing districts. The race for New York's third congressional district was watched closely by Democrats and Republicans across the nation and was seen by some as a test for how swing districts might lean in the presidential election in November. Democrat Tom Suozzi secured the win, beating his Republican opponent, Mozzie Pillup, by a strong margin. If you ask Democrats, they say Suozzi was able to win because he didn't shy away from tough topics like immigration. Democrats are running on Republicans blocking the bipartisan border bill. Tom Suozzi ran commercials saying Democrats are for a bipartisan border bill. Donald Trump and Republicans are blocking it. However, Republicans brushed this off, blaming the snowstorm on Election Day and Swazi's ties to the district. Swazi represented the district for six years before leaving his seat to run unsuccessfully for governor. They spent about $15 million to win a seat that President Biden won by eight points. Their candidate ran like a Republican. He sounded like a Republican talking about the border and immigration because everybody knows that's the top issue. Political analyst Lee Mirangoff says in a way both sides are right that while Swazi showed how Democrats should address top issues like immigration, he also was a well-known candidate in this race. However, Mirangoff says that this race also showed that Swazi was willing to position himself as slightly more moderate, something other vulnerable Democrats might try to do in swing districts like the Hudson Valley later this year. On top of that, the other wild card in this race. Some have called it the, the ghost of Santos. He was out there even if, uh, even if he uh, wasn't a major object to the campaign. People sort of took him as a given and then they moved from that. Now, since this was a special election, Swazi will still have to technically run again in November. It's unclear right now if Pillip will run against him again later this year. Steve? Interesting to see for sure. All right, thanks, Morgan.